Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am going to be showing you kind of a recipe makeover, I guess you could call it, for one of my favorite recipes on Weight Watchers, and that is bubble up pizza. Now, I have done a video on the bubble up pizza before, and I think it was probably a couple years ago that I did it, but I have made a couple changes to the way I used to do it. And so I want to kind of show you how I do it now because these changes have decreased the points and in a way, I guess they've actually increased the size of your portion too because you're able to use more dough and more sauce, but again, it's going to be less points. So I wanted to show you how I've been making it with these couple of changes because again, it is one of my favorites or our favorites and I just like the changes that have been made to it. So let me jump in here and show you what you're gonna need. All right, let me show you real quick what you're gonna need to make this. And I will start with the two things that I've changed that have made kind of the difference. And first off, that is gonna be three cups of this marinara sauce. Now this is Weight Watchers, it is a Weight Watchers recipe from their website, and it is for marinara sauce, and it is very low point marinara sauce. So I have been making this quite a bit and kind of using it in recipes that I used to use the jarred marinara sauce in, just because this is lower in points. I will link this up above and down below if you wanna check that out. Now I do know there are lower point or even I think zero point marinara sauces out there, but I just really like the way this tastes and I think it's worth the very minimal points for what in my opinion is a more flavorful sauce than the ones that are out there that are like zero points. So anyway, that's the first change I've made. Instead of using a jarred marinara sauce that has quite a bit of points, I'm using three cups of that. That's gonna be three cups instead of two cups that I would have used in my old recipe. Okay, down here is the second change, and that is two ingredient pizza dough instead of the refrigerator biscuits, which is quite a bit less in points. And not only that, but instead of using seven and a half ounces of refrigerator biscuits, you can use, this is almost 14 ounces. A batch of that pizza dough is right around 14 ounces. So I'm using that instead and that is simply, I've already got it made up obviously, and this is simply a cup of flour to a three quarter cup of fat free Greek yogurt. I also added in a little bit of garlic just for a little extra flavor, but very, very simple. And for those of you who don't know, you just simply mix the two together and then you knead for about five minutes to get your dough. And I also factored in an eighth a cup of flour for the kneading process. So these two are basically the major changes to this recipe and they are what makes a difference in points. So next up, you're gonna need a pound of lean ground turkey. I'm using 93% lean, 7% fat. You could use an even leaner one and that would decrease the points also, but this is just the type of turkey that I'm always buying. So that's what I'm always using in my recipes. Down here, you're gonna need one and a quarter cup part skim mozzarella. Now up here, I've got some different veggies. This is kind of a make it your own type of recipe. You can put in whatever it is that you wanna put in, but these are sort of my go-tos. I've got one red chopped onion there, and then here I've got an assortment of red, yellow, and orange bell pepper. It equals probably about one bell pepper, maybe a little more. And then back here, I've got some sliced mushrooms, probably about 10 ounces. And again, if you don't like these ingredients, you can swap them out for something else. And then down here, I've got a can, 2.5 ounces, 2.25 ounces, I'm sorry, of sliced olives. For seasoning, you're gonna need a little bit of basil, a little bit of oregano. I'm using granulated garlic today because I don't have any fresh garlic or minced garlic that I typically have but I would prefer to use the mince, but that's what I've got on hand right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then some fresh ground black pepper. You could also add salt to this if you want, but as always, we are trying to cut down on our salt, so we're not gonna add any to ours today. But that is all that's gonna be in this. Let me show you how this comes together. 
So first thing you're gonna do is get yourself a large pan and on medium, medium high heat, you're gonna cook your turkey and your mushrooms, pepper and onions until they are softened. Another change to this is I don't use olive oil in the bottom of my pan anymore. I found that I don't need to with all the moisture from the veggies. So that is another change. But I'm gonna just let this, actually first I'm gonna pepper. Pepper this a little bit. And then I'm gonna just let this cook in here until those veggies have softened up and the turkey is cooked. And then while my turkey and veggies are cooking, I'm gonna take my dough here and I'm gonna just kind of flatten it out to probably about a quarter inch thick. And then I'm gonna just cut it into little pieces. like that and then I'm gonna set it aside. Now I'm gonna add in my seasoning and I add probably about a teaspoon or so of the basil, oregano, and the granulated garlic. Now if I was using minced garlic, I would be putting in probably about three teaspoons or three cloves. I'm gonna add probably about three quarter to a teaspoon of the granulated. And this is all to taste. You can put however much or little you want in there. And then I'm gonna stir this together and let that cook in there about a minute. And then I'm gonna add in my sauce. And that is again, three cups and I'm going to stir that in and let all this kind of cook for about a minute or two. And at this point, you also wanna have your oven preheating to 350. Oh, and I forgot my olives, so I'm gonna throw those in there too and then stir those in. All right, now that that's cooked for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my dough and I kinda of just drop it in there. like that. And I'm going to turn my heat off and I'm going to stir that all together until that dough kind of starts to break up just a little bit and kind of evenly distribute throughout the whole mixture. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm going to take my 13 by 9 inch pan here and I'm going to spray it with a little cooking spray and then I'm gonna pour this in there kind of smooth this out okay now it is ready to go in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes and now I'm gonna take my mozzarella and I'm gonna spread that on the top of this evenly and I'm gonna bake it in the oven for another 10 minutes or so until that cheese is melted. And here's how we're looking. After about 10 minutes, got that cheese nice and melted. So now I'm gonna let this just cool down a little bit before I cut a serving out of it. And here is a serving of that, which is a sixth of the total. And I think it's a pretty good sized serving. It's definitely filling and it definitely hits the spot for when you're craving something that's kind of pizza-like, but it's, it's really good with the cheese and the dough and yeah, all together, definitely one of our favorites. So like I said, I wanna show you how I'm making this now with a couple different changes. And it is a little bit bigger serving because of the twice amount of dough and the extra sauce that's in there. So yeah, that is Bubble Up Pizza with two ingredient pizza dough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.